Hey everyone, Caustic Gazania here, and um, I'm just doing a video showing my latest hammer map that I've been working on. Um, I've noticed that there's not been too many hammer videos that have come out recently showing how hammer works, so. Um, yeah, so. This is the map that I've made, I'm calling it uh, Columns V7, because um, well, it's not the 7th version of the Columns map, it's just a name that I gave it. So basically what I've got going on here, I've just got a simple two room map that I'll eventually expand and if I go out I'll you'll see that I've got all no draw outside to minimize the amount of memory that the map uses and I'm streamlining it as much as possible so this will be the spawn room and what I've got here is just a couple of spawns and yeah later on I'm gonna branch off there'll be a door about here and everyone it'll it'll branch off to another room here I've got some water, and this is Funk Water Analog, I believe it is, yes. And even though I've been trying and trying and trying and trying and trying to get reflection working, it is not working at all. Like, when I go into the game, it just does not, <laughs> it does not reflect anything at all. And over here, I've got controls to lower the water level down to the seabed, or just the dirt floor. So when the player turns this, turns this, um, what do you call it, level, I'm just going to call it a level, whenever they turn that, 360 degrees, the water will go down, but it will trigger this logic that I've created here, and this will control how everything works. And it'll also open this door here, that will expose the ladder. But it only opens when the water has reached down below. So if I go here, go Alt Enter, you can see here. So when the water goes down, it'll open the ladder. Pretty cool. Now the reason why I didn't use um, yeah, the reason why I didn't use the the, the just the wheel is because I have two states so when the player turns the wheel once it will lower the water down and do all this right but the problem that I faced was that if the player turned the wheel again I need to be able to distinguish whether or not the water is up and down so this is where I have a logic gate so what happens here is when the wheel is turned it will call the logic which will then lock itself and it will unlock after five seconds to prevent spamming and then it will trigger this logic which then once the logic is once the logic is closed and it's protruding from the wall it will tell the water to come up and if it's open it'll tell the water to go down and when it is fully closed it will close the ladder cover so yeah <laughs> that's pretty simple logic your head's gonna hurt after this one over here we've got an elevator which I've been spending the la oh, uh, proper English I've been spending the last what three four hours plus most of yesterday working on to get the logic working correctly so basically what happens here is the elevator starts at the bottom of the shaft and when you press the button, the elevator will close any of the... If the doors are open at the bottom here on this bottom room, it will automatically close the doors here and the one on the elevator car. And it will send the elevator to the top. When the elevator opens, or when it arrives at the top, it will open both doors and they'll stay open until the player presses either of the buttons in here. But when it reaches the top, also to prevent players from locking themselves inside the elevator or locking players out, it actually disables the top buttons here. And it will also disable this button as well to stop players from messing around with the door. I'll have to show you this in game because it is too complex to explain. Alright, here we are on Collins V7. This is what the final map will look like in Gary's mod. Um, so here we go, if I press this button, it is a bit messed up. <laughs> okay. 
cool. So those doors will stay open. Previously on the other version that I had of the map before, the doors would actually close, but I had to change that because I couldn't figure out any proper logic for that. Here's the problem with my wheel. Again, poses. And the wall comes up. Alright, so <laughs> this elevator was not easy to make. Alright, so if I press try to press this, it won't it won't do anything. Same here, it won't, it won't do anything. So I gotta press the down button. Now, I'm pretty sure most of you who are watching this video either know what I'm talking about or you're wondering how I'm doing most of the stuff that I'm doing with Hammer. So, that button's also locked as well. And this one should also be locked. So yeah, this is just the basement room where you, you can just do whatever stuff. Once it's actually playing the correct sound. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so that's pretty much all of the map so far. Besides the dynamic light that I've got there, there's a dynamic light that, if you notice, if I go down spot there. Follows the elevator down. Crazy town. Pick up again. Also the delay is to prevent spamming, so don't know why they're transparent. It shouldn't be. See, that's, that's the exact same texture there and there, but they're not, they're not bloody working properly. Might be the mode that I've set to render it. Anyways, well, that's just about it. Let's go back to Hammer, shall we? Alright, so, this elevator requires quite a lot of explaining. So, what I've got here is, I've got a model. So I've got a static model, or is it a dynamic model? I'm pretty sure it's, oh, it's dynamic. So it's a, it's a dynamic prop that follows this platform here. And, oh no, this one. Wait, no, they're the other walls. There we go, that one. So that is the size of the block that I'm, that I sat the prop on. So the bottom of it, is sitting flush here with the bottom if, of where I want it to stop at the bottom. So it'll go to exactly that height. I've left it just a little bit lower so that players can ride go-karts and stuff like that into the cart if they really want to, you know, small vehicles and stuff like that and they don't get caught on the edge of the thing. Alright, so that's what happens there and what I've done here is with this prop dynamic that block, his name is Elevator, and I've set the prop's parent to Elevator, so this will always follow where that elevator goes, or what position it is in. And I've also done the same here for these buttons. They are also parented to the elevator, the same with this door here, but not the outer one. So they'll move wherever that moves. Alright, now, 
This <coughs> is the logic for the elevator. This controls the entire elevator. So what actually happens is when that platform or on fully closed is when the elevator rises to the top. On fully open is when it goes down. So when it is fully closed, it will lock it will lock the top elevator button. Then it will it will lock the top button here. It will open the elevator doors after one second. Now keep in mind this is when it's actually hit the top and it's stopped. So after one second it will open the both of the doors. Then it will unlock after five seconds the bottom button here and the bottom button down on the lower platform down there. Right. So yeah. And basically what happens is when it gets to the top it'll do the exact opposite. So when it's fully open it'll do the I'm go back then. So that button and the one down there it will lock. See how it's got the condition lock. And then the elevators on the bottom, once again the one second open, and the top ones and go up, it'll unlock. Now to set these up properly, you need to have each object needs a name. So these are these are the elevator doors, these have elevator buttons. And that's also elevator top button and to create a new event you just go add and hammer will tell you if the events not correctly defined like this that symbol means events triggers going into the object by inputs and outputs here but it's telling me there's an error so that won't compile properly so if I want to make when the elevator reaches the top on fully closed, I want the water object to laugh at me. No, I'm only kidding. I'll make it. I'll make it open. All right, and I can set an optional delay of seconds by one if I want it, or 947, whatever. <laughs> if you really want to do that. Alright, you can set an optional parameter. This is where it gets interesting. Alright, so if I want to do on fully close and I do, for example, the elevator doors, I want to do set, uh, set animation. Now these, this elevator door model has three animations, which is the close animation, the idle animation, and the open animation. Right, so what you need to do here, okay, you can stop playing now. Silly doors, idle. Thank you. <laughs> now, if I want to do, I didn't just define a new one, did I? I have, I've done the exact same thing. Alright, cool. So what you would do is you'd enter the name of the animation. So here the an the name of the animation is open, otherwise it's closed, otherwise it's idle. So you enter that here. You want it to close or open. Whatever you want to happen. I'm gonna delete that because I'll stuff up the logic. And that's basically what I've done here for the doors. And yeah. The rest I'll leave you to mess around and figure out with yourself. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment in the YouTube um, description. I'll probably read it if I... Yeah, I'll probably read it. <laughs> because I'll get a notification anyways. So, yeah. Um, oh, and if anybody has any hammer experience, can you tell me how the reflection works properly? Because I've been scouring YouTube for videos on how reflection works. And I've just come up with videos from 2009, so not entirely helpful. I've got the environment cube map here which is mapped to the surface of the water there 504 and the water log control I'm not sure too much what that does but that'd be distance camera R oh, so that controls visibility and there we go so yeah um, that's all I really got to show off at the moment um, I'll do another 
uh, YouTube series on how to make a proper hammer map. When I make my next map, I will do a video showing the process that I go through making the map and I'll show you how to set up hammer and do everything like that. In fact, you know what, I might even do it after this video just because I feel like it. <laughs> so until next time, this has been Corsa Gazania and I'll see you guys in the next video.